And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. The Williston Keybirds, who had played well all week in their own true wealth tourney, were hoping to finish it off on Sunday afternoon with a win over a good Saskatoon Giants team. Let's go to Offutt Stadium and see who won the longest-running Legion baseball tournament in the great state of North Dakota. Here we go. Title game. Boston Bass, top of the seventh. Base hit, run scores. That's going to make it a 4-2 to two game for the Giants. But here come your Williston Keybirds. Jaden Iba is going to get a run home with a base hit. That is going to make it a 4-3 to three ball game. Then the steady Chase Collins, who told me in the spring, we fight to the end. Another clutch hit, safe at the plate. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all tied up at 4-4. Then Caleb Bernal, just a good youngster, sends a long fly ball to deep, long right. That is going to be enough to get the winning run in. How about that? The birds rally in the seventh to win the true wealth. 5-4 over the Giants. All right, that leaves us with the championship. Goes to Keywords. Here we go. All righty, good for them. A great comeback, and boy, were the fans happy leaving off at final 5-4. to four. They deserve it. Giants are a good club, no question about that. Third place, the Twins, 8. Mile City Outlaws, a great program, 8-1. to one. Justin Ergens did a great job on the mound, keeping the birds in it all game long. Vote of the MVP, another youngster, Jackson Janot, also had a great tourney. Coach Trevor Sorensen has to be happy with his young kids and the veterans so far with how they have played. They are home Thursday against West Fargo, 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. But a great weekend, a big thank you to everybody involved in the tournament. Williston always does a tremendous job, and that's why it's the longest longest running Legion tournament in the great state of North Dakota. Now, when I interviewed Coyote Slugger Garrett Solberg before they left to go to state, I congratulated him on a great senior season. A lot of big clutch hits for the Coyotes. I guess the WDA and the state coaches agreed with me after making the all-WDA team today. He's made the all-state team, so hats off to the Coyotes Slugger. He's got a great swing, trying to help the Coyotes bring home their first state title since 04. He is headed to science with teammate Max Heen, and I hope both play baseball for the Cats. We'd love to see them come to Raybon Field and battle with the Tetons. Just don't beat us. All right, Twins finally scored some runs and got out of Pittsburgh with a win yesterday. They're now eight and a half games out behind Cleveland in the AL Central, the division they won last year. This homestand, a chance to get better against some terrible teams. The Rockies tonight, they're 17 games back in the NL West, and tomorrow or tonight, they're going to throw Hudson, Dakota, Dakota Hudson, 2-7 and seven on the year with an ERA of 5.2. Chris Paddock for the Twins, 4-3. and three. When the Rockies move out of town, replacing them, another terrible team. Oakland, 11 out in the AL West. And, of course, they're headed to Sacramento. And when they get out of here, it's Tampa. Usually they hang in there in the AL East, but not this year. They are 14 out behind the Yankees. So a chance for the Twins to make some hay. They've got to get it done and soon. Let's take a timeout. 